Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we'll be talking about the next important structure of the alimentary canal after the teeth and this structure is known as the buccopharyngeal cavity. Now let's see what is this buccopharyngeal cavity. This is actually the space which is dorsally bound by the skull. What do you mean by dorsally? It is from the back. From back side it is covered by the skull and ventrally that is from the front it is covered by the throat. So this is the area which is dorsally covered by the skull and ventrally by the throat. This is known as the buccopharyngeal cavity. This buccopharyngeal cavity, this has basic three uh, important parts. What are these? These are vestibule, buccal cavity followed by the pharynx. We will be discussing about all these parts in detail. So first let us start our discussion with the vestibule. Vestibule, this is actually the space which is externally bound by the lips and the cheeks. Now internally this vestibule it is bound by the gums and the teeth. So externally by lips and the cheeks and internally by the gum and teeth. This is the area which actually acts as a space where food can be stored very for a very small time that is temporarily it can store food. So this is the vestibule. After vestibule the next part is known as the buccal cavity. This buccal cavity, it is also known as the oral cavity. This is basically the mouth portion. It is also known as the oral cavity. Now this oral cavity, it has got a muscular structure which is known as the tongue. And this tongue is attached to the basal floor or the floor of the buccal cavity by a structure which is known as the frenulum. So frenulum connects the tongue with the floor of the buccal cavity. A tongue has very small minute projections and these projections are known as the papillae. Papillae, these are the areas or these are the structures which are also known as the taste buds. Because of this, we can taste different types of food materials. Now, also the buccal cavity has got a set of teeth. After the buccal cavity, the next uh, structure of the buccopharyngeal cavity is known as the pharynx. This is the portion which is the posterior most that is present towards the back. This is basically a common passage for the food and the air. Now, the epiglottis, now the area, the, the opening of the windpipe is known as the glottis. And this glottis, since pharynx is the area which serves as a common passage for food and air, there remains high chances that food may enter the windpipe. And if food enters the windpipe, a person may get choked and it can, in very later cases or very uh, important cases, it can be fatal also. So in order to prevent these type of damages, what happens? A muscular structure or a cartilaginous structure, which is known as the epiglottis is present just at the opening, which is known as the glottis of the windpipe. This actually prevents the entry of the food into the opening of the windpipe, which is known as the glottis during the process of swallowing. So it is always recommended that we should not talk while eating food. Why? Because we are, if you are talking while eating food, then the wind is also moving in through the uh, pharynx and along with that food is also moving. Hence, the epiglottis will be removed and there remains chances that the food material can easily enter the windpipe and a person can get choked. So in this video, we have talked about the buccopharyngeal cavity and we have talked about three important portions of this cavity. Those are pharynx, we have talked about the buccal cavity and also we have discussed about the vestibule. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.